Hello everyone, it's Nadia. Welcome back to Fake Ass, the series where I review the fake up to the makeup that you love. And today we'll be testing out this Fake Ass Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. As you lovely people know, this is about the product, not the people behind it. Any tip you may have with them, please cast it away because this is a channel of positive energy. Okay? Thank you. I got this from AliExpress for about $8 and it took around a month and a half to get to me. Way back in December, we did try the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette and it ended up being just okay. I'm hoping that this one is just as good, if not better. You always hope for better, but we'll see. This packaging though is fucking fantastic. The peaches are raised on it and I'm really curious to see if it really does smell like peaches like it claims to on the front. Ooh, this is nice. It's metal. Okay. Mmm. No, it does not smell like peaches. It smells like baby shampoo. Mm. I guess there's kind of a hint of something sweet, but it legit does smell like shampoo. Mm. That's really disappointing because I was kind of hoping that one of these fake Too Faced palettes would actually smell like how the real one does, but no luck. Eh, no luck. Like I said, the peach is raised and there's beautiful gold accents and don't I just look like Vanna White here? I fucking love it. The side has the gorgeous Too Faced logo on it and the opposite side has all the ingredients and shit. The back honestly looks pretty damn close to the real. The picture of the pigments is lovely and not pixely at all. Even the little peach has a nice golden leaf. So freaking cute. The palette itself is incredible as well. Nice and metallic and very sturdy feeling. The back is a little bit dark because of the lighting, but just like the original, it has a sweet description of the product Product, the logo, Too Faced, etc. Opening this little bitch up, it does have a very nice looking mirror on the inside. The shadow colors are not exactly close to the real, but they're not terribly different either. I know the camera lighting is kind of messing with them and making them all look a little bit muddy, but though there's some differences, for the most part, it's just like the fake's colors are more faded. All right, let's swatch this bitch. You guys know the song. Are you ready? It's swatching time. <laughs> All right, first of all, sorry about the cut on my hand. I got it while making lasagna, but that fucking lasagna was better than sex. Holy shit. Anyways, first up, we have White Peach Luscious, Just Peachy, and Bless Her Heart. Truthfully, these all felt so nice on the finger. Like, when I was rubbing my finger in the pan, I was like, oh, damn, these are gonna be pigmented. But then when I swatched them, they were basically garbage. I mean, maybe that's a little harsh. Let's just say it not the worst, but certainly not the best. Next, we have Tempting, Charmed, I'm sure, Nectar, and Cobbler. These guys were actually pretty good for being fake. Were they even close to the quality of the original? Hell nah, but still, I can work with this. Now we have Candied Peach, Bellini, Peach Pit, and Delectable. These were pretty okay too. I really love those purples though. Again, for being fakes, these are fairly good. Now, if the real one were only this pigmented, I would be one pissed off motherfucker. These are Peaches and Cream, Georgia, Caramelized, and Puree. And honestly, I'll be the first to say it, but these shades are kind of a flop. They might look spectacular with a brush on the eye, but swatching, they're just meh. And finally, we have Summer Yum and Talk Dirty to Me. Disappointing to say the least, and Top Derby to me was much like my first lover, chunky and cheap looking. On to the look. Of course, I prime my eyes and set translucent powder under them to catch any fallout. On a fluffy brush, I'm setting that primer with Georgia, and truthfully, this did a pretty damn good job of evening the tone of my eye. Then in the crease, I'm blending out puree. This shadow, for some reason, was kind of drowned out by my lights. Like, in person, it looked great, but on here, it kind of doesn't look like much. So I'm going over that with Summer Yum just to help deepen the crease a bit. Then with Candied Peach and Just Peachy, I'm blending that all over my lid and up my crease. I fucking love this color. It's so subtle, but very pretty. Next, I tried to apply Bless Her Heart to my lid, and this little shit stain was not sticking, so I went in and added some Touche Clat by YSL to the lids and dabbed that out literally a million times better. The shadow applied so easily after that. Next, on a flat brush, I'm mixing Summer Yum with Charmed, I'm sure, and placing that on the outer corner of my eye just to start creating that nighttime glam effect that I die for. On the bottom lash, I'm smoking out Puree, and I have to say, I'm honestly impressed with these shadows so far. I know they didn't swatch good, but they're not half bad on the brush. Next, I'm going in right on the lashes with Tempting and very lightly working that in between each lash. Then under that, I'm smoking out Delectable, and I'm also going to put some on my upper lash line just for shits. Then, of course, I'm finishing with liner, mascara, and falsies, and I know my liner is not the best, but holy shit, you guys, my gorgeous, amazing friend and fellow YouTuber, Paulina, taught me the easiest way to do liner, and she is 
a stunner, a total makeup goddess. Go follow her. You will not regret it. I'll put all of her social media shit down below in the description. Oh, so gorgeous. And here we are with the final look. Honestly, I really did enjoy using this palette. Like the pigmentation was okay, but there was a ton of colors to choose from yet. I still came out with this basic bitch glam look. But I mean, I smoked dark green out under my eyes and I never would have thought to do that had I not used this. So it really is kind of a cool palette. Overall, I do really like this palette. Of course, I cannot recommend a fake because we really don't know what's in it, but my eyes are not watering. Nothing is burning. So that's a good sign. Now, if this is even half as good as the actual palette, then I say you should definitely check out the real palette on Too Faced website because this seems like it'd be really fun to work with. But there you go. Don't forget my newest single, Underwater, is available everywhere online that music is sold. Thank you so much to everyone who supported it. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video and what you'd like to see on future fake ass episodes. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at Official Nady. You can follow me online at thepoplux.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye.